What's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to my channel. I want to give a big shout out to all my new subscribers because I really feel the love. You know, I, I, we, we, we changing people and people are listening. So I appreciate everybody that's been in the comments and just showing me so much love all over the world. And today, you know, it's Friday. You know, we've been talking a lot. Of, I've been talking a lot of shit all week, you know, but today I wanted to wrap it up. So before we get started, I want to introduce y'all to my husband, David. What's happening, everybody? Uh, my name is David Phillips. Government name and those who know me in the conscious community, <laughs> uh, many know me as uh, King David. So, mm -hmm. you know, how's everybody doing? It's a blessing to be in the building and uh, blessed on this uh, on this uh, site right here. You know what I mean? With uh, Erica Phillips. That's you right. You know, and we are a union, you know. And I thought it was important to show that, you know, uh, because I feel like I want my content to lead towards uplifting black women and, and exposing the ones that tried to bring us down, you know, and I don't care what nobody say. I feel like that's my purpose and what I'm supposed to do. But in doing that, I also wanted to show unity. I also want to show people what it looks like to be a union as well. When you work together, how much more your life, you know what I'm saying, you can bring to your life, you know? The more it is a yin and a yang, you know, more so, you know, what I mean, um, a lot of people that was going down her page were saying, Hey, uh, you sound like uh, you got male energy, you know what I'm saying? Hey, sometimes I uh, uh, the Shanti wars, you know, what I'm saying, a different war throughout time shown women to have to step up on that level mm -hmm. to get on these dusty ass men level Blah. that's doing things that they shouldn't and saying things that they shouldn't be saying, right, towards women, you know, what I'm saying, at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. We time is, is 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 not promised to us, and it's very short. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So um, we need to protect the village mm -hmm. from these soothsayers, all these uh, preachers out here on that crap. And we don't have time to be nice about it. You know, it's like I can't. We can't handle our people no more with kid gloves on. That's right. We can't handle y'all with kid gloves on. So that's why, like, the topic of today and uh, is setting to set the order straight. You know. We gave, I gave a lot of, I did a lot of ranting, but at the end of the day, I still want to be able to teach people as well. That's right. Not teach you to go get on a plane and fly somewhere. I don't need you to do that. Mm -hmm. If you just put a comment, that's good enough for me to let me know I reached somebody. Right. You know, that's it. So. And, 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 and people would grow a, a lot more if they don't follow you somewhere. If you're dealing with uh, any pastor or preacher, he wants you to follow him somewhere. Mm -hmm. Unless he's following him, telling me to get out this continent because there's a bomb coming. Right. And, and and we know it's a bomb coming and we need to be at a destination. Then I'm the only way I'm going. But other than that, me following you because you got a brilliant mind and you read a whole lot of books. Right. With a whole lot of crooks. You know <laughs> what I'm the, saying? Then the crooks sold you the books. And the books, right. In the bookstores. I ain't following nobody nowhere. And that's the problem. If, if, if your religion... Religion leads you to follow you to the ends of the earth to be exiled. He's furthering his studies to make you be exiled with him. A, a abuser would would, would, would would make you leave his family. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if he can make you go on the opposite end of the earth, the earth to do it, he got you. Definitely got you. That's checkmate. Facts. So um, what do you think? Because uh, I look to David for a lot of, because I don't like, I don't, I don't be knowing a lot of these people like that because once I clicked on their videos back in the day, their energy wasn't never right for me, and I'm a big person that go on energy. Their energy, their spirit, they it wasn't clicking with me. Mm -hmm. I was like, this this is creepy. Right. I don't like the way he walking around with um, a bulletproof vest on and guns and stuff in the Hollywood Hills. Like, who gonna come and get you there? Right. Your fucking butler. You know. Trying to preach to me about how I need to conduct myself living in the conditions that we living in right now while you making money off of the community. So I, I was saying that to say, right. uh, mm -hmm. tell us more about like, why would people want to follow somebody like a polite or a young Pharaoh? What, what were they teaching? What, you know, that was making people feel like they were, you know, these Kings and gods and stuff. Like what, what is that all about, man? Uh, I don't know. They say we're, we're th uh, who holds the one eye is king, you know what I'm saying? If that's that's in the that's biblical. You know what I'm saying? The, the one eye, you know, man who is king, basically saying if you got that one eye, which they took it to the next level, but symbology is it could be that they love the fact that these guys were brilliant. How many of us come out knowing science and, and you know, we came right. out in the boomer era in the hotel 
community definitely, but m mainly in all of it, to learn all the sciences at that time in the early 90s, 80s, when Bobby Hemmets and uh, uh, Dr. Deborah Blair's was, was given, everybody had a different thing that they excelled in. Mm -hmm. And you had an audience that listened and learned the Dr. Malachi York at his yes. beginning stages. All those brothers, man, came about. And, and had classes and, you know, I mean, people would listen in and mm -hmm. people, you know what I mean, studied under those guys and they were brilliant, you know what I mean? Yep. But where they come short is they become thinking they God. You're not God. He said, you know, ye are gods and children of the most high. Say it again, David. He said, ye are gods, but children. He made it plur. He made it very specific. Specific, y'all guys. I give you that. Only be y'all. Only reason why y'all guys because y'all can produce another human, like I created you. Hence, y'all can create humans as well. So therefore, you are a God because you can create. Life. That's it. That's it. That's and it. that's all because he broke it down and said y'all still fucking children. Say that one more time because still for these whole tap people on my page because still they don't y'all still children. You still children to it's the only, most high. It's only one. It's only one. That that was another one significant thing that you should have got when you was kept saying I'm a god. I'm I'm a god. God. I'm a god. I'm not, Nick, you only can create. You can put your dick in, in some vagina like they doing and like y'all doing and make a whole bunch of babies out here and then defiling the sacred mother. If you on your whole tap shit. The male, the woman was next to the male. That's right. What y'all doing? It's supposed to be a balance. Man, woman, and child. And, That's it. And, and, and it wouldn't be so bad if you wasn't putting publicizing the thing for us to see you showing you off your square of all the knowledge you taught throughout history. We ain't showing your ass. You know what I'm saying? Folks, and these fit feet, and these and these ladies and these queens have not forgotten what you had done and because they've been following you, bro. To only come to a point and where you have a stumble with a young lady when she's growing too as a young lady. You know what I'm saying? And snatch her innocence away. And you snatch her innocence away and destroy her in public. That where you the mafia need to sit down with you, bro. You done let the GDs in the door today. Okay. Oh! <laughs> You didn't let the GDs in the door. You didn't want to We're not playing. playing. So don't be coming playing. at us with no you know weird saying? stuff, you know? Because... It's nation building. That's what it's about. It's nation building. That's all it is. It's they divided building. and conquering for the people that's saying this about divide and conquer. No, it's not. The no. thing is, they want you to serve them so they can continue to live these lavish lifestyles. So they can t continue to shit on you mm -hmm. on every video that they make. And then get mad at people like me because I, I put up in my video for people to get the message. Mm -hmm. Since so many people follow you, mm -hmm. I'm trying to save people. So if I got to put pole life punches a bitch Straighten the eye, life, to get in you, all caps. To get you to look at it. To get you to listen to the message. The real message. The real message. That's right. That's what I do. <laughs> right hand of God. There it is. You know, and and it's and, and, and to come on here is it's really breath of fresh air for me to get out. You know what I mean? And, and talk to, to you know to the people about you know saying what's going on. You know, as far as when she had talked about Esau and Jacob. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be all religious and stuff like that. Yes, we are. I am. And I and, and I and I ain't coming as a Christian. For those who think that I'm coming there as a Christian. I got that a lot. What is that? Why? Because they think because you speak in the Bible, they think that you there, there's a difference between a Hebrew and a Christian. Right. You know what I'm saying? One's by blood and one's by practice. I ain't got to practice nothing because it's in my DNA. Well, it's in my DNA who I am, you know what I'm saying? So that's the difference. You know what I mean? Oh, he's you don't you I only go you know I'm not gonna get into the logistics of those who go to church on Sunday right but you know what I'm saying I don't go to church on Sunday I'm a Hebrew right dig that but, but the to, whole thing about mm -hmm. Jacob and Esau right. to understand the level that we own if you don't understand that story right then you're gonna be lost if you don't understand that Edomites are the Gentiles right we're Jacob we're promised we have a promise on us. That's right. So all that other stuff. It may not look like it. And a lot and a lot of people don't really like go towards the Bible because of things that are going on in mm -hmm. our in, in our um in our world today. You know what I mean? Right. Which is slavery. That's the biggest thing, slavery. And it made a lot of people denounce Christianity at the time, which are you know, uh, announce a lot of religions and just go to towards the uh 
the dead deities, the whole right. and all that. Because of our stuff. situation, because our situation, right? Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. but but in, in, in essence, if they look at, even looking at that, that fell long before we was even got enslaved. They empire fell due to the same thing: worshiping idol gods, deities. Tap on that, David. Tap on that when they. Uh, it just it, it, it yeah. is it is you know like I you know like I'm saying now you know mm -hmm. they 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 following dead deities you know what I'm saying how how are you going to uh, speak on uh, us today when you telling us to follow some people that they got destroyed back then, and then what happened to your gods when we got enslaved, put in slavery? Where was they at? Where were they at? Well, they, you can argue and say, well, where was Jesus at? How about us in Deuteronomy? What happened? The reason why we in slavery? Hotep and all those ancient deities on the walls. You can't read that shit on the walls. It's they, you know, a lot of that stuff was telling what was going on with the wars and stuff and. And, and they put enough information, not saying it was bad. I'm not saying Egypt was bad. Right. I'm saying it's dead. It's That, that part of it's us over. Is, is gone right now. You can look at that just for memory. You can look at it as far as how great we was. Mm -hmm. Key word was was. And that's it and that's all. Until you come back to these laws and commandments, nothing's going to work out for you. Nothing. And this is on a personal level. Everybody has their own journey. And, and right. And also, you can look at this too. It's not a coincidence. How the you get the poor light, poor the poor light, poor light, and you have um, poor light, old punk, young ass. Pharaoh, both on the pedestal at the same time in a negative manner. Mm -hmm. This is the spirit realm letting us know. Tap tap tap. Pay attention to this type of religion. With this type of Negroes. These type of niggas yeah. running this planet right now and got my people fucked up. I'm gonna show them you I'ma show in the spirit realm both of them together in headline news right now, they're fluckeries. And it's Pay nothing, that's why they're not talking about it. Cause when you to listen spirit. to him when he got those uh shades on in the car and stuff, and he all in the car talking about, I ain't gotta talk about that. It's negative, it's just so negative. You're right. Why would you do something so negative? He want to address all the money he making. The shit is weird. You know what I'm saying? He afraid. You know. Y'all can't be listening to them. And you know, really, it's really the the guys and the, the. I feel like the ladies, the ladies on my page, they is done with this. Matter of fact, people been sending me stuff. Keep on sending stuff. Mm -hmm. Keep on exposing because right. they need to be exposed, and the true word of God need to be said. That's right. And that's facts. That's facts. I don't care about all this. They be trying to mind trick you into thinking, well, you shouldn't say nothing about it. Don't say nothing about it because you don't know the whole story. I don't need to know the whole story to know the truth. How about that? That's right. I just need to know what you did. And people going to uh, look over. Uh, he got cars. He got successful stuff going on. How dare he? He ain't doing it. Man, what the hell are you talking about? It's in the police report. I why mean, is there a police report? Why is there even a police report? Poor life. My whole thing of it is, <laughs> at the position that you're in, a power, as a leader, as a father, most of all, and as a man, most of all, to take a young child anywhere that belongs to an adult like a club, that's what we need to look at. Fuck, it, 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 say if he didn't do it, why would you even be allowed to be put in a position to, to be criticized for e for you even being in places that you shouldn't have a child, which is a club in a fucking hotel. Explain that. Then once you explain that, then we get down to the pedophilia and right. the weird shit that went down because it don't make sense. None of it. As a man, you shouldn't have that child in those places at all. Like you said, mm -mm. you should have had that child at a milkshake or at McDonald's if they vegan. And not at or all. Vegan shop, or somewhere around the corner, we just chopping it up, talking in the park. Right, but not see, in those two dark mm -hmm. places. If you talking as a leader, and you talking as you a a, a, a god, weirdos, you setting yourself up to be publicized and scrutiny and, and scrutinized. Say it. I don't feel sorry for you, even if it's ain't say, say which it's not. But say if this if this is all false, and and it motherfucker set you up, you still allow her. To take you to a place you shouldn't be in. You get you, you get tongue lashed today. Period. You, you get tongue lashed today because you fucked up as a as a leader for the, for them to let you know that this just really you've been supposed to been exposed because you've been doing this shit for too long, ho. Yep. Tap. Oh. <laughs> Trademark that. Y'all been doing it. Taps. That's right. 
taking our daughters, doing all this weird weird shit. shit, And that's why I was saying yesterday about the women. Women in the community, stop being silent. Stop sewing shit and get to telling some stuff to help these girls because they out here living with these men and these men are manipulating their mind with this bullshit. Mm-hmm. It's straight bullshit. One said he a guy, and the other one uh, finessing these 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 these, these women, tell them nah, the black woman guy. Man, you, you ain't treating them like they guys. You know, I, 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 this, he always talking about success. You know, I, I, I got hey, check money. this out, bro. It's all about money. It's all uh, this is this is this is uh, <laughs> a polite. You know oh, what I'm polite, saying? polite. He, he, he tells his women that you know what I mean that, that they're you know they're guys. You know what I'm saying not us because I, and, because worse. they created. He just, you know, that's some old pimp shit. That old pimp talk, but in a whole cyber talk. You know what I'm saying? You're still pimping. I want all your hoes to be in the same house with me. You know what I'm saying? We all going to, you know what I mean? Don't question, don't, the don't question the God. Don't question the God. I might don't still question like fuck your daughter, you know, and, and, and all. And, you know what I mean? I'm going to fuck your daughters too because I'm cause I'm God. I'm going to break them because if you don't like it, you can leave. Shut your ass up, ho. I bring Chat. another girl in and yeah. call it polygamy. Don't I, I, I ain't tripping on you. Oh, you don't want to do what I say, huh? You and your daughter leave. They, they, you know, they just pimping. You Cut their check just off. Pimping. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and man, leave the kids out of it. These, cause them grown ups, them the grown women you got in your house. You know what I'm saying? They, they can do what they want to do. Y'all can mm-hmm. fucking suck and do all kind of crazy shit in the house. You know, tie each other up, whatever it may be. You use like come you know, right. all that. You know what I'm <laughs> all that. You know what I'm saying? But you For know, really? when you start dealing with children and you start calling out other black women, that's why the whole hell got raised. Cause you just didn't say. Yep. That black bitch. You said all black bitches. All you, y'all black all bitches. All y'all black bitches. You know, Plural. ain't shit. Ain't shit. Plural. So therefore, that means you attacked everybody, your empower that you created. You, mm-hmm. have, you hurted a lot of women. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Saying that bullshit. And you and you hurt a woman. Cause mm-hmm. she, cause, you know what I'm saying? Because she's young and we're we going to protect her. Because you, now you're talking about hurting her. That's crazy. Over her vagina. So what? She don't want you no more. And if you're jogging around that bad, then if you're supposed to be Pharaoh, which Pharaoh was against the Hebrews, and I don't like you call yourself Pharaoh. They're right, period. So to me, you my enemy anyway, ho. Tap. With your fucking big two fast. But the fact that you, you know what I'm saying, as a king like and, 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 and on top, you're supposed to have a woman adjacent to who you was, stepping. Right. You're if supposed you to raise. you her up, either you raise her up, or you supposed to already had her. She probably found her uh, risen on your level. Let you know y'all some pimp shit. Y'all gonna find these these, these girls and they're young and they're young and they minds ain't together and you pimping them. Mm-hmm. And then talk about you ain't shit. You ain't nothing. No, of course she ain't nothing because she's young. You caught her when she was fucking 17. Right. Probably. You already know how it is. Here, man. But you guess what? Shit. You ain't gonna be able to do it with minds. And you hopefully y'all saying? listening to us let them know that you ain't gonna be able to do it. They ain't gonna be able to do it with y'all either. But you know. We're going to keep on giving you the message because the message needs to be heard. Because at the end of the day, we got so much knowledge, but everybody want to hold it in and keep it for some weird stuff. And then look at people who speaking the truth and say, we some capping ass, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, click baiting ass, having ass niggas. No, we're not. Oh, well. I don't give a fuck if you did think it. If you did, yeah, I am click I'm click baiting you to the truth. To the truth. And that's all that matters. You know what I'm saying? Surprise niggas. Y'all on the page and motherfuckers really talking about surprise. Some burr, 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 burr. It went it. down. You it goes down on this page. That's right. On this channel. So I want to thank, again, I want to thank um, all my subscribers. The, I mean, I, we got so much love, man. I appreciate it. And, and it's so positive. And that's what I love. Everything that people have been saying has been so positive. You know, thank right. you, sister. I'm going through something. Mm-hmm. Thank you. You're right. I need to speak up about my niece. I need to speak up about this. You put that in me. So I'm not going to stop. Really? And I thank everybody from all over the country. Big up to California. California. You know, I'm from Inglewood, California. California. I live in Indianapolis, but I'm from Inglewood, California. And I, I, I see all the love I'm getting in Cali, Texas, all these different places. So I want to say that I appreciate y'all so much. And um, on Fridays, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to bring my hubby in and he going to just in case it's any misunderstandings and Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Just showing that unity and you know what I'm saying? That togetherness that we all need to have. This is what it's about. It's about family. It's about structure. Not telling your woman to shut the fuck up. Not that he respects me and I respect him. And you know, so you'll see a lot more of that on Friday. I mean, yeah, on Friday. So Mm -hmm. I'm gonna wrap it up with that y'all. 
And I want to thank you for tuning to my channel. Have a good weekend. And until next time, do unto others as you would have them do unto you, y'all. Peace, Peace out. out.